it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really easy tutorial on how to achieve this open door build technique. Now you guys have been requesting for me to do more of these build tutorials so hopefully you guys do enjoy this one here. So you guys have probably seen me use this a lot in my apartments especially if they are the luxurious ones just because I do like doing this if I want the bedrooms just to kind of be open into like the apartments and this also works really well if you have like a garden shed or even a beach house where you just want your doors to be open and it's not going to cause any lighting issues um whereas if we were just to like delete out one of these walls it just kind of eliminates the fact if we have like if we get rid of all of this and we just had it open it's gonna get really dark inside the room or inside the home and that's actually what we do not want to happen so this is really easy to do and what we're gonna do I'm gonna start from scratch so we have our house built here and if we go down into the frames so you can do this as a double I'll kind of just show you guys both and how they work so you do need like you can see if I have my grid on let's go down to the bottom if I have my grid on this kind of goes like in the middle of the squares but you need to make sure that you use the one that is like completely exactly on the square so we're gonna put this right here and then we're gonna go over into our wall and then we're just gonna make a wall go on a little bit of an angle so we're gonna delete out all of this here just because we want to make sure that the door is not going to snap on and you're probably going to want to also have your bb.move objects cheat on and we are going to be placing the door that we want so the one that we used was the garden door or the french door what exactly is it called perfect pane door so you can see that it basically lines up exactly with the archway and then we're just gonna delete out that door so we just have the door kind of floating there so we're gonna grab our door hold the alt and then we're just going to make sure that it just kind of lines up as well as we can get it and then let's take our grid off and then we're just gonna put all of our doors or all of our walls back on and then we'll just repaint this again and it's just that easy you guys so if we do it this way you can use this in like garden sheds if you just want to have it open look a little bit more realistic or if you just want your homes to be open to the outside without having it so dark and then if we wanted to I'll show you guys if we were to do this as a double how it works like the exact same so we're gonna go down and same thing with the archways you want to make sure that you have the one that is right on the grid so this goes exactly on the two and then we're gonna place our angled wall and then we're gonna go and delete everything out. So we're deleting these walls so that the door does not like snap into place. And if it snaps into place, you are not gonna be able to get that door like angled like this. So let's try a different kind of door. Let's, let's use these glass ones, they're pretty similar. So we're gonna make the handles go outside. So this would even look really cool if you use this on like a retail build. And let's grab our door and just kind of line it up with the archway. I kind of wanna fix this one. Okay. And then again, we're just going to put our walls back up. So if you guys know that this is what you want to do for your build, I recommend kind of doing this first just so that you don't actually like have to keep going back in. Let's get rid of our grid. And as you can see, it's like perfectly easy to do with the double. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this really quick and easy tutorial. If you guys have any other building tips and tricks or different like styles that you would like to see me do in a video, definitely let me know down in the comments because I really do want to start doing these kind of videos um, for you guys that kind of want a little bit of help or maybe you're just not sure how somebody did something that you have seen done in a build so if you guys did like this video make sure that you do give this a very big thumbs up it always lets me know that you guys did enjoy and hopefully i'm gonna see you in my next video bye guys